Hello and welcome to a short video on how to pay your membership fee using your credit or debit card to pay the fee. You will have received an email from your membership secretary when the renewals period comes around telling you that your uh, membership fee is now due. To pay by credit or debit card what you need to do is log in to the members section of the U3A website. Now remember that at the moment we are looking at a test site so your U3A website may look slightly different but the buttons will be in more or less the same places and be titled very similar. If you haven't got a password to log into the members section of the website there is a separate video available to tell you how to set up a new password or to renew a forgotten one. So what we'll do now is we'll log into the website as a member and the member we're going to log in as is member number 8211. So we click on login once we filled in the membership number and password. And then in the left hand menu there is a button towards the top that says my detail. If you click on my detail it gives you quite a few options. And one of the options will be something like pay by credit card or pay by CC or pay by CC slash DC for debit card as well. So whichever one is, you're paying by card. So if you click on there, and what will happen is your screen will go away and it will come back with a screen similar to what you're seeing now. Now if your U3A runs a joint membership um, facility whereby yourself and uh, another member that lives at the same address uh, are joint members, what will happen now is it's slightly different of the screen you're seeing but what will happen is is the primary member will be the one that pays for the pair uh, membership fee for the year so if you log in and find that you can't actually pay the membership fee um, it may be worth your joint partner logging in as them and see if they can pay for it it's only the primary member can pay so once you're logged in and you've clicked on pay by credit card, what you'll be presented with is a screen similar to this. Now it will ask you whether or not you should be registered for gift aid and you can check that as is uh, your desire. And below that are a couple of fields that need completing. The first field is the one where it says card number, just below it you fill in your 16 digit number from the front of your credit or debit card. The second field that needs filling in is the expiry date which is also on the front of your credit or debit card. And finally there is the CVC number or security and that is the three digit number on the back of your card. So once you've filled all of those boxes in, make absolutely sure that you've got all the right details in there and then click on submit payment. When you click on submit payment what will happen is you will get an email come to that member via their email address telling them that their, uh, their renewal has been paid for the year. And it's as easy as that. It should take you perhaps two or three minutes. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers. Bye bye.